and just anything that you need to know, it should be in here. And I'm trying to make that easier for you. Alright, so this is a plugin file. If you click this in the Fallout Mod Manager, um, it'll activate it inside the game. But first, you need to put it inside the game with the mesh, which is just like what the character holds, and the textures, which is what it looks like. So we're going to go to the um, uh, the um, Fallout 3 directory, wherever that is. So mine's in C, Program Files, Bethesda Soft Softworks, Fallout 3. Now, some... Some folders in here will have data, and if that's the case, you just copy and paste it right into this folder, the Fallout 3 folder. But in, in the case that it doesn't, you'll need to put it into data. See, all the red things on my mod, so yes, I do have a lot. Um, see, meshes and textures, so you're just going to go select that, select it, copy, then you're going to put it in here and just go and just go paste. Just like that. This will come up and say, do you still want to merge this folder? This will just put it straight into the other folder without any... It won't wreck the textures folder or anything. So there's also, that's also the meshes folder. So um, I'm just going to go yes. That'll put them both in right there. Um, hold on, I'm just going to delete this. Don't worry about that, that's just something I tried before and it didn't work. So, um, now this, as I said, was the plugin file. So you're just going to do exactly the same thing. You're going to copy, and you're going to paste it straight in here. Now, um, hold on, I think I might have just pasted it. Yes, I did. Sorry. Um, you're not going to paste it in the meshes folder, you're going to paste it in the data folder. So, I'm going to do that again. Now, that's there. So we've done everything you need to do. That's installed inside the game. Now you need to activate it. So when you go into the game, it's there. So, um, alright, so we're going to get out of that. We're going to get out of that as well. But we're going to go to where you installed the archive invalidation invalidated file. So you're just going to run that. This will come up if it's installed in your uh, normal file, like programs file. You're going to go, um, it just says that this may make Fallout 3 behave strangely because it's in your um, program's file folder, but it doesn't make mine perform strangely. So, I'm just going to go OK. Now, yours should be on deactivate. I've already activated mine, but this is all you have to do. You just have to say activate, exit. That's it. Alright, so, now that you've done that, you're going to go to where you installed Fallout Mod Manager. Mine's right here, F-O-M-M, -M, Fallout Mod Manager. You're going to open that, and it's going to give you a list of all the things that you've activated and downloaded and put into the data file folder. All right, so it's down the bottom. Now, um, okay, with this, all you're going to do is you're just going to click it. Click the little box next to it, and that's going to activate it. If it says Master's File, um... Anchorage or PIT, if you haven't bought them and downloaded them onto your computer, this mod won't work and it'll make uh, Fallout 3 crash every time you try to open it. You're looking for one that just says Fallout 3 ESM, that's all you need. Um, if it doesn't say any master file, it may still work, so give it a shot, but some of mine don't work, so we're just going to go anyway, so there's, there's some stuff over here, but I don't worry about them, I don't launch Fallout 3 through the mod manager, I just prefer not to, so we're going to exit that, um, then we're going to go to, uh, once that's done, you finish, you have installed it onto your Fallout 3 um, game, and I'm going to try to run the game, but um, if it crashes or something, I'm sorry about that. Um, the frame rate, rate, the frame rate might be a bit slow. Uh, that's just because my computer's real crappy. But um, I'm just gonna go for it and see what happens. All right, so we've we've loaded it up. Continue, yes. Okay, so. 
this is my house. And, um, okay, see, see the frame rates were slow, so I'm sorry about that. I really am, but, um, we're just going to go back out to the wasteland, and I'll, I'll, I'll take you to the wings. I'll show you where the wings are, because... Alright, see, so I've got my Nuka Cola um, Pit Boy, which is really cool. So we're gonna go to Fallout, um, the, sorry, the Vault. We're gonna go to the Vault. And we're just gonna climb that hill. And, um, it should be there. Uh, for some reason, the, um, main menu. Uh, the main menu. Music is still playing. I'm not, sorry, I'm not sure why that is. But, um, alright, so we're gonna go around here. Yeah, um, some of the other mods that I have are the, um, this grease gun. It, it was like 40 different weapons, just on the, um, all on this one file. So I was like, yeah, that's pretty sweet, I'll just download that. And, um, just place them all over the world, so you can pick them up off dead bodies and stuff. Um, I should have the Enclave Commanders. Yeah, see, there they all, there they all are. Enclave people following me, and my companion Jesse, which is another mod. And, um, alright, so, we're just going to go over here. Now, um, is it that one, or? Alright, so, um, I may not actually be able to find it, because, um, I'm not sure where this overturned Nuka Cola thing is, but, um, is it there? I'm not, I'm, I, can't, I can't remember. Um, so, yeah, but, anyway, it should be there. Wherever this Nuka Cola turned over Nuka Cola machine is, it'll be probably inside the Nuka Cola machine. Oh, oh there it is. Hold on, I think I found it. Yep, so there you go. All the wings, and they've even got their own custom pictures. So, um... Um, I'm just going to take dragon wings. Um, I'll also take white heaven wings. Uh... Okay, so... So there you go, there's my wings. All there. Um, you know, they don't do anything. They just look cool, I guess. And I'm so sorry, the frame rate is horrible. I'm not sure why that is, but um, maybe it's because I'm running this video capture program. But yeah, um, that's, that's it. Thanks for watching.